Good morning, good afternoon, good evening, wherever you're watching me from. Today, I want us to talk about being persistent in prayer. My name is Tavi, and you're watching Satan Church Online. Now, I was having a conversation with a friend, and I was asking them a very personal question. I was asking them, why does God require that we persist in prayer? Why can't he just give us what we ask? Why does he want us to push and really persist in the, in the prayer? And I was really serious about asking this question. And my friend who is full of the spirit and, uh, you know, he began to explain to me why persistence is required in scripture. And uh, number one, he told me, you know, as human beings, we love to self-rule ourselves. From the beginning, you will notice that that we always desire this independence from God. And uh, God, uh, God uses persistence in prayer to break that pride, to break that rebellion, to break that desire to be, to self-rule. So persistence, the, re the reason why God requires that we persist in prayer is number one, he wants to break our pride so that we realize that we cannot be independent of him. That we are not uh, in of ourselves. We, don't, we are not the, the rulers of ourselves. He wants us to be humble before him and recognize that everything comes from him. You know, that is why he insists that we persist. And through persistence, God begins to deal with our pride and he begins to build humility in us so that when God does these things in our lives, they will not take away from us from God. In fact, he made, he made me see something very profound. He said, when you are not going through issues, when you don't have problems, chances are you don't persist in prayers as much as you persist in prayers when things are not going on well. Because that state of being okay makes you think that you got this. You are in charge, you're in control. But the truth is, God knows that we are not in control. You know, God knows that we are weak. Oh, you know, He knows that we are not in charge, sovereign of our lives. He knows that we cannot live without Him. We can't do anything without Him. And so that He can teach us that to depend on Him, to be humble before Him, He teaches us to persist in prayer. Number two, God wants to build our faith. Through persistence, we begin to extend the limits of our faith and we begin to realize that through God we can actually do all things through Christ who strengthens us and even when things come against us storms you know mountains fearful things we are not falling apart because we have found our strength in the Lord you know that is why he requires us that through that process of persistence God is building us in our faith now, Ephesians chapter 16, uh, chapter 6 and verse 18, as we finish, the Bible says, pray in the spirit at all times and, in all, and on every occasion, stay alert and be persistent in your prayers. Be persistent in your prayer. Don't pray and give up. Pray until you see the move of God in that situation. Number three, God wants to glorify himself through those things that we are praying for. So that when he finally does those things that we have asked him of, we will not look to the world and say, it is by might, it is by my power that this has happened. We will say that this is the Lord's doing and it is marvelous in our eyes and will bring glory to him. So persistence leads to bringing glory to the name of Jesus Christ. I want to encourage you, please don't give up. I love prayers. Anybody who knows me, know that I actually love prayers. And I want to invite you to not give up in prayer. Persist until you see the move of God. God bless you.